Hi everyone, my name is Mathieu. In this video, I'll show you a bit more about using the pattern primer as an in-mold coating. So the idea is to add the pattern primer first into the mold, packed with fiberglass and polyester resin to make seven of these identical parts ready for spray painting right out of the mold. So first of all, I mix about 150 grams for this piece with 2% of MACP hardener. So I've mixed it thoroughly, thoroughly, and then uh, add it into the molds. So just like a gel coat, uh, keep in mind you cannot use this for molds as the pattern primer is not designed for that. When you want to use it as a mold or like uh, heavy duty parts, you better use uh, a gel coat. So here I'm showing you how you can reuse the cups and the brushes. So first of all, I remove as much as possible from the brushes and add like a full coat into the cup. So here you can see I'm cleaning them in acetone and just let them sit until I'll be using the laminating resin. So after a while you can see that the pattern primer left into the cup has left like a little liner into that cup and you can just remove everything in one go. So the cup is ready to use again uh, for the next application of pattern primer. In between the curing you can prepare all the fiberglass. So it's very important in a process like um, a wet layup with fiberglass and polyester resin to have like everything ready to go because you don't want to rush because uh, like the polyester resin might kick off, kick off quite quickly into your cup. So here I'm just putting the mold in a vertical position because uh, styrene is a heavy gas that might want to sit into your mold. So here it can just flow out in a way. Here you can see I'm preparing everything for the next step that would be the general purpose uh, polyester resin that will be backing this pattern primer. And here you can see once it gets dull, you know that the pattern primer is cured enough to proceed with the next steps. So just to show you, I'm repurposing some old tins to do all my laminating words with uh, polyester resin. So I'm preparing two cups. So like I said, preparation is key. So I'm preparing the entire volume, but in two times. So instead of mixing 700 grams in one go, I have a cup with 400 grams and another one with 300 grams that I'll be mixing like with a just-in-time system. So I just have enough time uh, with a high volume of McP Harner. So I'm using 2% here. Why 2%? Because with this technique, I was able to produce three parts a day. So that's a big difference with using resin infusion where your molds have to be curing the parts over about two days before you can proceed with the next steps. So I'm just brushing on a layer into the mold first with the general purpose laminating polyester resin and then just like saturates the first layer that is a 100 grams square meter back to the 400 gram square meter. So quite important is to remove all the air that is trapped in between the layers as well as like uh, leveling out all the polyester resin that is into the cloth. So here I'm just adding the last layer and as you can see I'm just mixing the last layer right now because I want to have plenty of time to remove any air that is still trapped now in between all the layers. So I'm using the roller again on the last layer and then you can see you'll get a nice finish on the back. So this is a pretty heavy part. So weight wasn't that important. It was more about like having a, a stiff strong part uh, on a budget. So that's why mostly you'll be using polyester resin with chopped strands um, to have like a, an affordable piece uh, made uh, in a fast way. So here you can see I'm using the wedges to remove the part. Um, so the mold was um, applied with a release agent. Uh, so I'm using the chemical release agent from Easy Composites and it's a pretty good release as you can see. So first I remove all the edges, put a bit of upwards pressure and then the part just pops off. So here you can see the finish. So this is a pattern primer, so you can call this a primer before clear coating on the parts directly. So instead of having the fiberglass parts with some pinholes, filling it, filling it in with the pattern primer, this two steps were done in one step. So the last step to do before sending them to the spray painter is just give them a quick stand 
to remove any nips or like little scratches that were still on the molds. And then everything is ready to go to the spray painter. So very important while sanding is using a block just to be sure that you are not um, sanding in some like small dents um, by just using your hands. So here I'm using a degreaser, two reasons. You can see if the part is nicely sanded, if you have flat surfaces and that the curves are right. And the second uh, thing is just to know that everything is nicely clean before sending them to the spray painter. So here you can see the seven parts lined up. So I was able to do this in about three days, with, which wouldn't be possible with like resin infusion. So here you can see the parts printed with um, a cobalt satin finish. So this is the result um, in a quick and easy way. So I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if, subscribe if you want to see more and see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.